Hey, welcome to another video for our C-sharp class. We're going to begin in this section with some videos about recursion. So we're going to make several examples of recursive programs, and they'll go from simple to more complex. The goal here is for you to see some recursion programming in uh, concrete examples. So we're going to start with this first example called count to one. So the purpose of count to one is to demonstrate a set of rules it's not really much of a useful program other than the fact that you can see how recursion works. So let's zoom in and take a look at the instructions. So the, the goal here is we want to have a function that will start with any positive integer. And for each iteration, we will do uh, one of two, three things. The first is the base case. If the number is one, then we will stop and return the number. If the number is even, the rule says divide that number by two. If the number is odd, then add one. So eventually, this will eventually reach one. It'll reduce down to one. And so here's some code that we're going to type in, and then I'll describe it. So let's get into our Visual Studio projects, and let's create a new one. So we're going to be using console app right now, and I'm going to call this thing uh, count to one. And I have to put a number two after mine because I've already got a project called count to one. This will be a basic console app, so we just get one item here called program.cs. So the first thing we want to do is present the user with some instructions. I'll simply say, please enter an integer. I will do some math calculations and eventually arrive at one. So then we will have a, a number called starting number, and we will parse this as an integer from the read line. Of course, this leaves open the possibility that the user could crash the program but our point here is not so much error checking as it is the recursion. So the first thing I'm going to do is invent a function. We'll call it count to one. Now you notice I'm not using the uh, capital letter here. This is not the name of the application. I'm just using lowercase count to one and the parameter is starting number. So after the main function is done, I'm going to start another public uh, static integer function and we'll name this one count to one and we'll return an integer. So the first thing I want to do is just print out what the value of n is. So I'll say n equals and then plus n in the uh, output. So the first case that we're going to check for is the base case. So if n equals one, we will tell the uh, console to print it and then we will return a one. So if n is not one, then we jump into the other two cases. The first case is if the number is even. So in most computer languages, you can check to see if a number is even by doing the mod operation. So n mod two is going to give us a remainder. So if the remainder is zero, that means it's an even number. And so we'll say in our console, we'll print it out, we'll say n is even, I'm now dividing by two, and we'll return the next value, which is uh, count to one of the parameter n divided by two. So the next case is, if uh, then is n is, must be uh, odd, right? That's the only other option. So if it's odd, we'll add one, and we'll return the same thing with count to one as the, as the function, and n plus one is the parameter. Okay, we just need one more thing. This function is complete, but we need to pause after the operation has been uh, calculated. So up here in the top here in the main area, let's do a console read. All right, let's try it out. Let's go run our program. So we get the instructions. It says, please enter a number. So let's try 41 and I'll press enter. And so you can see it, it is going through by an iteration process. It is uh, recursion. So we've got uh, 41, it turns to be an odd number. We'll add one to get 42. 42 is even, divide by two, we get 21. And so it's switching from adding and dividing all the way down to the base case. All right, so try it again with a couple of other examples. So you can see that uh, eventually, no matter how large the numbers you choose, you will get to one. So the divide by two is uh, going to overwhelm the add one and eventually get to the base case. So there is our first example of a recursion program in action. So the important part of recursion is to remember that there is always a base case 
and that rebase case will return some constant value. And then we have other rules. So it could be one rule, two rules we have here, or more. And so there's your first example. So I'd like you to just do a screen capture of this running and demonstrate that you have, first of all, created a recursion program. So congratulations, your first try.